Using the highly visual Kanban board to manage the caseload of a law practice can significantly improve your team workflow organization and efficiency. What follows is a step-by-step -step guide to using an online Kanban tool board effectively as a team. First, let's briefly look into the basics of the Kanban method. It's a visual workflow management framework that uses sticky note-like cards signaling individual tasks, asking the team to place them in the board's columns, representing distinct process stages. Also, a core aspect of Kanban is work in progress limits. The team agrees on how many tasks can be worked on at once in each processing step, ideally keeping the values as low as possible. Transparent workflow visualization informs everyone about each task's status in real time, while limiting WIP speeds up the completion of individual tasks and improves the team's ability to focus on the job in front of them. Now, on to setting up the board itself. If your team is co-located, you can build a physical board, for example, a whiteboard with colorful sticky notes. But if your employees work from different places or need to see the updates while on the go, you'll be better off using a digital service, such as KanbanTool.com. Within the service, you decide what columns the board should include. You can also add swim lanes, horizontal rows spanning the columns, to divide work across separate clients, case types, or teams. This particular board has three swim lanes, one for each smaller sub-team. For the standard legal team workflow, the columns could be as follows. Intake, new cases that need reviewing. Research, for cases in the information gathering phase. Drafting, the stage of preparing documents, pleadings, etc. Review, documented cases waiting for a review by a senior attorney. Client approval, Items awaiting client feedback or approval. Filing. Documents or cases ready to be filed with the court. In progress. Active cases in litigation or negotiation. Pending. Cases awaiting further action or external input. And finally, completed. For closed or resolved cases, including an archive of past tasks. Now, let's look closer at the task card structure. Each Kanban card represents a case or a specific task related to it. The team decided to make room on the cards for essential details such as case name, case number, the client's name, key dates and deadlines, priority level, responsible attorney, assisting paralegal and supervising partner, the type of task, the case description with all the relevant documents, and a checklist of any non-standard steps that need doing. Still, when managing complex cases, it's often convenient to create several separate tasks. The team keeps them all connected with task dependencies. Doing this saves time when referencing other tasks' details and keeps all information nicely looped in. This legal team relies on Kanban Tools due date reminder emails, as well as on a couple of automation to stay on track with their court appearances and all paperwork. The daily due date reminders send a message to each team member, listing their assignments with a due date for today. But, just to be on the safe side, one of their automation turns cards on which the due date has already passed into a bright orange color, making sure these tasks attract immediate attention at the start of the day. The currently set work in progress limit is one task per team member at all stages. It helps prevent overload and highlight it should it occur and ensures that tasks are completed efficiently with the employee's 100% focus on the work in front of them. Doing that not only takes a load off the lawyer's minds, but also improves the accuracy of how they perform and limits errors. To make prioritization easy, the team uses distinct task colors and priority icons to flag task importance, urgency, and nature. As such, regular cases get a brown color urgent cases are purple, long-term ones are signaled with black, with a separate fuchsia color for high-profile, high-value cases. The task tracking board is also the go-to place for the team to communicate. Individual card comments are used to provide updates, pose questions, or note important information, as well as to share new documents. Other additional Kanban tool board elements that the team takes advantage of are postpone tasks, allowing to hide individual tasks for now to come back at a set date and time, recurring tasks, 
automating the work that needs doing daily, weekly, monthly, or according to another repeat schedule. The large interactive Kanban calendar, sortable by due dates, start dates, timeline, custom dates, as well as postponed and recurring items. Task summary, freeing the team to decide what in-card information should also be shown on task fronts for increased data intake speed and convenience. Checklist templates, supporting the creation of custom sets of to-do lists, which can be added to tasks with one click. Great for those tasks that must follow a strict set of prescribed steps. And for a quick and convenient insight into how long individual tasks were sitting at various stages, the team uses the time and stage power-up. Although this information is part of the general time report metric, seeing it right on the card offers a quick visual clue into the task history. Regarding the frequency of board updates, the team modifies task information as the changes take place in real time. This way, all case information is always factual and the team accessible board becomes a true illustration of where each case is at. In terms of board layout reviews, the admin of the board notes the way the team uses it, and whenever they realize a step is missing its representation on the board, it can be added. The same goes for the on-task information. The bottom line is, the Kanban tool board will always serve the unique team's needs, and keeping a cyclical feedback loop is one way to ensure the process and its Kanban illustration grow and adjust with time. All team members are encouraged to voice suggestions on how the work might be done differently, and hence how the board could be made more efficient. By using a shared visual Kanban tool board this way, your legal team can too map out their workflow, improving and simplifying task management to enhance overall efficiency and collaboration. An added benefit of trusting an illustrative task management system like this for the team is the insight into what they've been doing all day. This often serves to give team members a boosted sense of accomplishment, stemming from the act of moving tasks across the process stages. KanbanTool.com can empower your legal team to achieve more, together. Whether you're happy with the cloud-hosted service or need the same to be stored on your own offline server, Kanban Tool has got you covered. Try the system today by setting up a free trial on KanbanTool.com. 